This presentation discusses the current state of billing and reimbursement for contrast enhanced ultrasound studies. Three ultrasound contrast agents are currently approved for intravenous administration by the FDA. These are Lumason by Braco Diagnostics, Definity by Lanthius Medical Imaging, and Optison by GE Medical. The three agents are approved for left ventricular opacification in echocardiography. In March of 2016, the FDA approved Lumasan Contrast Enhanced Ultrasound for characterization of focal liver lesions. This was the first application approved by the FDA for contrast enhanced ultrasound outside the heart. In December of 2016, approval was extended to contrast ultrasound voiding cystourethrography for diagnosis of vesicourethric reflux in children. Obtaining current procedural terminology or CPT codes for contrast ultrasound is a prerequisite for reimbursement. Requests for new CPT codes first have to be approved by the CPT editorial panel of the American Medical Association. The codes are then issued and valued by the Relative Value Update Committee of the American Medical Association. This body is composed of 31 members, 21 appointed by major national medical society specialists. Following FDA approval, the American College of Radiology set up a working group to begin the process of getting CPT codes. This group has submitted proposals for contrast ultrasound CPT codes to the AMA CPT panel and the Relative Value Update Committee. The process of obtaining CPT codes can take up to two years. In the meantime, there are a number of transitional codes that can be used for reimbursement until CPT codes are available. These codes are the Q code Q9950, C code C9744, and the intravenous injection code 96374. This presentation will explain these codes and their applications. What is a Q code? A Q code is designed by CMS to procedures, services, and supplies on a temporary basis. When a permanent code is assigned, the Q code is deleted and cross-referenced. The Q code is a transitional contrast agent code, and there are specific codes for each uh, contrast agent. The code for Lumason is Q9950. The code for Definity is Q9957, and that for Optison is Q9956. The codes became effective January 1st, 2017. These are Healthcare Common Procedure Coding System, or HCPCS, pass-through codes. What is a pass-through code? A pass-through code is a CMS vehicle to reimburse for innovative drugs. It is a temporary code that is valid until December the 31st of 2017, but is expected to be extended through September of 2018. A vial of Lumason contains 25 milligrams of a lysophilized powder that is reconstituted with 5 mils of normal saline. Each Q9950 billing unit is 1 mil. Therefore, there are 5 billing units per mil. The recommended dose for liver imaging is 1 to 2.4 mils, depending on patient size. So the entire vial is not used for most patients. However, Q9950 can be billed for a drug that is reconstituted but not administered by using the JW modifier. For example, if out of a 5 mil vial, 2 mils are administered and 3 mils are discarded, this can be billed as 2 units of Q9950 and 3 units of Q9950-JW. The amount discarded should be documented in the patient's medical record. The date, time, 
and quantity wasted should be recorded. Some Medicare contractors have specific requirements for documentation, while others just note that it should be documented. C code, C9744. C9744 is a new technology healthcare common procedures coding system or HCPCS level one code. What is a C code? A C code is a code assigned by CMS for new technologies. C9744 is described as ultrasound of abdomen with contrast. BRACO applied for and was approved for a C code on October the 1st, 2016. This code is attached to an ambulatory payment classification or APC that provides a code that describes the medical procedure and assigns a payment value to reflect the new procedure. It only applies to hospital outpatient prospective payment system patients and a pass-through payment is payable to this code. Injection code. What is an injection code? An injection code is used to bill for intravenous therapeutic prophylactic or diagnostic injection of a single substance or drug. It is only applicable if the place of service is an independent diagnostic testing facility under the Medicare payment fee schedule. The injection code is CPT 96374. It is not billable by physician and it is not appropriate with modifier 26 or technical component. Medicare often edits this code, but commercial payers may accept it. C9744 payment is linked under APC 5571 to a level one CPT imaging code with contrast. In 2017, the APC structure used in radiology, echocardiography, and cultural sound was consolidated. The payment for level one imaging with contrast under which C9744 falls is designated as $265.02 under the 2017 imaging restructuring. The temporary codes only apply to the technical fee. CPT 76700, the CPT code for ultrasound of the complete abdomen, and 76705, the, ultra, uh, the CPT code for limited abdomen, are used to bill for the professional component. There is currently no additional reimbursement for the professional component of contrast enhanced ultrasound until CPT codes are available. Q9950, the contrast agent code, is a pass-through code and reimburses at $22.93 per mil or $114.66 per vial at 5 mils per vial. 96374, the intravenous injection code, reimburses at $92.40, while C9744, the new technology C code, reimburses at $265.02 with a co-payment of $47.38. Applications of the transitional codes. C9744 and Q9950 can be used for Medicare outpatients. Patients at physician-owned imaging facilities or independent diagnostic testing facilities can bill Q9950 and 96374, but cannot bill C9744. Inpatient payment is based on Medicare severity diagnosis related groups or DRGs that are based on diagnosis and severity of illness. As such, diagnostic tests not paid separately under DRGs. However, bear in mind that Lumasan should always be reported in the patient charge master as Q9950 per mil. In March 2017, CMS extended C9744 to cover the use of ultrasound contrast agents in the kidneys and bladder, as well as the liver. 
Commercial payers. To obtain reimbursement from commercial payers, ensure that Q9950 is in the commercial payer contract database of your institution. You need to establish a payment fee for all your contracts. Some of your commercial payers may bundle the known contrasts with contrasts, while others will separate them. On October 12, 2017, the AMA CPT editorial panel meeting accepted two new permanent CPT level one codes for contrast enhanced ultrasound. These codes are described as for reporting ultrasound, targeted dynamic microbubble sonographic contrast characterization, non-cardiac. The new codes are 76X0X for initial contrast injection and 76X1X for a subsequent injection during the same study. Thus, if multiple lesions are being evaluated and each injection can be billed separately, the X is a placeholder will be replaced by a numeric value when the actual code is released. The new codes are scheduled to take effect on January the 1st, 2019. RVU values for these codes are yet to be decided and will be assigned at the next Relative Value Update Committee meeting. The RVU values will be based on surveys of contrast ultrasound users. The new codes are standalone codes, meaning they can be performed independent of other ultrasound codes. They can be used for any organ and are not limited to the liver, kidneys or bladder. They can be used for any contrast agent, although at this time Lumason is the only contrast agent approved by the FDA for non-cardiac applications. In summary, temporary codes can be used for contrast enhanced ultrasound reimbursement until December the 31st, 2018 for non-cardiac applications. These temporary codes are Q9950, C9744 and 96374. The pass-through payment for Q9950 will sunset on September the 30th, 2018, while the other two codes are payable through the end of 2018. The temporary codes only provide for technical reimbursement. These temporary codes can be used for imaging of the liver, kidneys, and bladder. After January the 1st, 2019, new CPT codes go into effect that will reimburse for the professional and technical component of a contrast-enhanced ultrasound study. These codes are 76X0X and 76X1X. These codes are organ agnostic, agent agnostic and can be used on a per lesion basis. The RVU value of these codes has not yet been decided.